Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of Wizardry 8. We are playing the vanilla version on Expert Island. And we are going to be doing a new party of all rangers. Six rangers. So last time I tried five rangers and something else. They didn't make it very far. But I think we had bad luck. So this time we're going to do all rangers, which is going to be even harder. But um, I think all the things that I've learned <laughs> over the years, I think we'll have, still have a really good chance. So let's get going here. Uh, let's start with females. Hey, Jimmy, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Yes, this is a brand new run. We got party wiped the last time, so with the punching fighters, they didn't make it very far. Okay, what do I want to do here? Dexterity. And strength. Speed. Okay, we will be focusing on bow, but we also have to have some melee up front. Whole arm will actually be really good for the rangers. Because they'll still give us extended range. Just spread out the skills evenly here. I do need to focus on artifacts. And we're going to have some that can throw. Now, we have a boost to, a boost to bows and then ranged combat. Okay. Jimmy, you're the first one. Some believe I can speak with animals. Hey there, Duncan and Claus. Welcome. How are you guys doing? With me. Five Ranger run holds the run for the shortest Iron Man. I don't think they made it out of the first stream. <laughs> yeah, that could be. That was really bad luck, though. <laughs> That's not normal. Duncan's here. The run's over, Jimmy says. Claus says, greetings. Hope you're all fine. Yep, doing great here, Claus. How about you? Yeah, we got wiped by vampire bats we were level eight or nine i don't remember punching we got surrounded by the bats we couldn't run away they they got us okay let's see this time we'll do a male let's not do elf again let's look at our choices here hobbit's not bad actually We're going to go with Hobbit here. Dexterity. We're going to give him some speed. And then we'll do strength. Okay. This one we're going to give throwing. Everybody needs artifacts. And... Let's do this. Spread it out a little bit. Okay, Duncan. Jimmy says, I'm sure Kipper had something to do with it. Hey, Sad Stan, welcome. How are you doing? There are two kinds of people. Hunters and their prey. Okay, that's good. Okay, another ranger. Now let's go ahead and do a look. This is going to be Claws. We're going to give him senses. It's going to be the highest senses. Uh, let's do some more. 
Actually, we're going to give him some mythology artifacts. And then... May use a staff. We'll just do this for now. No, no E, no E. You're doing good? Oh, you just beat Crystallis, says Tam. Wow, nice. Congratulations. Did you use Nintendo Power? <laughs> or did you play it blind? There are two Okay, that's the same voice. All right. He was happy to join. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Not this time. Cool. Let's get another female in here. Says Tim, you're gonna be female. Hmm. Dragon's not bad. Love more hit points. Good work on Vitality Frown. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. He will probably be up front. Let's give him some sword and one cool scum. Some believe I can speak with animals. That works. Ranger, Ranger, Ranger. This could be a high speed one. Okay. This one will be in the back. So we're doing just ranged. Is anybody else nobody else has commented jimmy says the lunchroom table did some heavy lifting oh yeah <laughs> passing around the powers endo powers plus says, by the way i did grind pickpocket oh did you Jimmy says, so what about rangers makes them jack of all trade classes? They can do a little bit of everything. They can be pretty good melee, good, great with ranged. They cast alchemy spells. They have scouting. Um, you can just do a lot with them. They can use most weapons and armor, but not all. Especially armor. There's certain types that can't wear. Okay, well, no one else has commented, so this will be me. By my honor, I swear up. Don't worry about a thing, friend. Okay, we'll do that one. We have one more. If anybody wants to chat and get their name in here, you better do it quick. I want to do another elf. I'm going to give intelligence, senses, uh, or speed. Speed. Okay. I'm not worried about modern weapon. Uh, 
let's put three here. She kind of looks like a ranger. You have two filters, man's clothes. Next, I'll run. Apparently, the game refreshes, refreshes the results if the character has accumulated a substantial amount of experience. You mean it refreshes the results of doing a pickpocket? Jimmy says Hama's in chat, but he hasn't said anything. Oh, shame on him. Okay. Give him the benefit of the doubt. All right then, but look here. Okay, that's on. All right, so we're gonna put Sastam up front, most hit points. Plaza will be second. Duncan will be third. Jimmy will be fourth. Quick will be fifth, and Hom will be sixth. Yes, we know Iron Man's really hard. Okay. Ha! Short pose. That we can't use. That's that's really funny. Instead of giving us arrows it gives us bows all right so as far as layout we're gonna have everybody take hits yes so we're gonna do this Yep, okay. Let's get a surprise attack in. Let us be predator and not prey. Very well. Plus says, yeah, I think it's like you have not failed your pickpocket to the target, which I did grind a couple times on each. Hey, defeat continue. So is it possible that it changes based on the not the experience you get, but just the skill going up by one? Like the pickpocket skill itself? Yeah, short bow is worth some money, right? A decent amount. Once we get crossbows on these and like Fear bolts. A hundred squirrels. We'll be doing some massive damage here. Right now. Until we run into enemies that cast missile shield. <laughs> and we need to melee. Was thick with tension, and the hero he feared going further. Look, our creature. Very well. Some free shots here. Pickpocket increase also does that, but certainly not just a single point in pickpocket. Okay, gotcha. Well, that's an interesting test. You may have discovered something, Laws, that nobody else on the internet knows. 
Because I have not read anything about the possibility. Okay, we get a little punish here. I don't have to hit search anymore. We have rangers. There. Easy search mode. Okay, sneeze powder. Let's get that distributed. There. Oh yeah, more arrows. It's going to be a hard habit to break. There. Not turning the search on and off. Look, Ooh. a creature. What do we got? Looks like a rat maybe. Rats. Very well. So dark. Do not glory in death. Instead, rejoice that we are still alive. Find things. We started with buskins. No upgrade there. It says the ranger with the highest sense is maybe the only one who's increasing scouting. Yeah. That's true, unless he dies, he Look, falls unconscious. That is true. Wretches. Pleasure. Can even search while running. Look, something's moving over there. All right. I can see it. It's so dark. It's not a bat. Another bow. We will get a crossbow pretty soon. Find things. That's good. Three potions. There. Fortune smiled upon them. We have not increased our skills at all yet. Not shooting her ranged her bow. Been killing them too quickly. There.
Tattered note. Let's see if we can get a few enemies to spawn. I always like to get level two before fighting that king crab. Although with the ranger, he should be the rangers. He should be pretty easy. May go after the noxious slimes. Okay, nothing spawned. Kill these. It has a lock. Yes. There we go, everybody. Look at that. Bow, 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 ranged bow. Alright, let's see yes. how we're doing. Halfway to level two. Let's go kill the noxious slime. I think we'll be okay. Always run. there, Hom. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? We did name a character after you, even though you were not available. Jimmy said he saw you in the chat. You're watching some space balls at the same time? <laughs> oh, that's a great movie. Get a bunch of free shots in here. Which pleasure? And a little bit closer. They feel it from their lives. Nice. Well done. Okay. Well, we got a melee weapon at least. We got a quarter staff. Light heals. Nice. Jimmy says, I exposed your business, Hom, huh? but it was for the good of the party. <laughs> Good, you discussed it, and a friend pro postponed, no, proposed to stream it. Oh, someone proposed to stream Spaceballs? We'll kill the other noxious slime. Yeah, it's on Discord. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Let's 
Do not glory in death. Instead, rejoice that we are still alive. There we go, level up. Getting? Nice. Okay, uh, what do we want to do? Dexterity and vitality. And says Tim. Let's work on throwing an artifact. Uh, it says Tim's up front. Yeah, let's still do artifacts. Because we're going to find items that we're going to want to need. Okay, Claws, we're doing Senses and Dexterity. He's already up to 72 on Dexterity and 70 on Senses. Range Combat, 15. Bow, 14. Do dexterity and strength more than Duncan. Okay, Jimmy. Let's do speed and dexterity. Today we'll do dexterity and speed. Oh, throwing artifacts. And Hom, we're going to do speed and dexterity. Oh, throwing artifacts. Perfect. Book of Light. Look! A creature! Find things! See! There! Okay. Ah, we got some slimes. They have no All fear! Right. For the enemy was weak! Hey, Dark Spot, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? As I watch you meticulously plan in each step of the party, and I just go Leroy Jenkins and try stupid stuff on Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. Can't do that on Expert Iron Man. Be dead. Be dead. But we don't want the stream ruined. Well, Expert Iron Man, I should, be, I should have said we can't do that. Hard enough, even uh, even being meticulous with these weird party configurations. If I had a normal party, I wouldn't necessarily be quite as cautious. Two hit points. Jimmy says, "Look, it's all going to end the same way as long as Duncan's in the party." <laughs> ah, Jimmy, come on. Plus, well, for the record, 70 would have been high enough to get power skill in 10 levels. And two points on strength would have con contributed to damage until those 10 levels. That is true. I'm not a min-maxer. But that is true. Hey, Gromula, welcome to stream. How are you doing? Should have seen your show last night. <laughs> Parts of Hot says my yearly sinus infection is it. Ooh. That's no good. Uh, I don't suffer from those, thank goodness. Sounds terrible. This battle will be child's play. I mean, as I tell the truth, absolutely. Let's 
see how we're doing. Almost halfway to the next level. Yes. Should we take on King Crab? Yeah, let's do it. It has a lock. Yes. Pretty confident in this party. Especially when we're going to take three shots at him. They were ready for battle. Doc, welcome. How are you doing? Wizardry's going great. This party starts out super strong. With all the bows. Or a kipper, that would spell instant disaster. Yeah, that I won't I won't argue against that one. Ooh, good training. Holy moly. Find things. Before I rest, let's grab this. There. This crossbow is a big deal. have to find where the corals went. There they are. 5 to 11. So 8 damage on average. So good. Let me read the chat here real quick. Boss says, how to unlock a locked loot container without opening the lid. Pick up an item through the cursor. Click on the item on, click the item on the lock chest. And when the last tumbler sets, the item will vanish from the cursor and appear in the chest after you open the lid. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Glad you're doing good, Mr. Spock. Dark Savant says, are you going to get the Gadgeteer NPC to make the triple shot ones? Oh, that's a good good question, Dark Savant. Uh, I don't think so. I think that'd make it a little too easy. But that would be kind of funny. Jimmy says, Hom knows. I'll bail him out of the clink and get him a good lawyer. <laughs> Not Kipper, though. He must... Face justice sooner or later. Have you guys ever seen a show called Heidi High? It was a, a British show from like 1981. Okay, so the guy named Ted totally reminds me of Kiffer. Not not appearance, but the shenanigans that he pulls. Just I'm thinking the whole time that's Kiffer. That's that's his character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, IDI, -I, I D O. Oh, you've never heard of it, Jimmy? You have to go I watch it they have no and tell me the well, character's name is Ted. Weak. <laughs> he wears a check suit. You have to watch that and tell me if you think that that reminds you of Kipper. The way, the, again, the schemes he plays. All right. Klaus is not sure, but I think Madras. Cannot make triple crossbows at start. Yeah, I, I don't know. Probably have to train them. Okay, let's open this up. 
I missed something. It's so dark. And we missed a potion. I think I'm gonna go out. No, no, no. Let's go get the resurrection potions. <laughs> Mr. Spock says, Heidi, hi, if anyone wants the actual title. Yeah. H I dash D E dash H I. Heidi, hi. Jimmy says, okay, so you'll watch 45 year old. British sitcoms, but Star Trek Next Generation has a bridge too far. No, I've saved those. I've saved them for my retirement on purpose. So I can binge watch. Look, a creature. So I am definitely gonna watch all those. Where is it? There it is. Not as perfect as Faulty Towers. Yeah, but there's no Kiffer representation in Faulty Towers. In all hours. <laughs> the shopkeeper there also reminds me of Kiffer with the scams and pulls. It's another great one. The original, not the not the um, still open hours. Mr. Spock says, I envy that you will see that for the first time. Can't go back and exactly. That's exactly why I'm saving it. Well done. Madras's engineering is 35. Okay, yeah, he's far from being able to make him. That took a long time. But again, it would make it'd be a little too strong <laughs> having triple shots. You could do double shots. Ooh, nice. Three resurrection powders. Ooh, this Lucky there. 33% chance. And now we'll go kill the rabbits. True. <laughs> yes. Have you seen that one on? Open all hours. This spec says you'll have to add a Discord. They had a list of the Discord on British sitcoms you've watched. Oh yeah. Got some favorites. Find things. My favorite's already being served, but I've watched that whole series so many times Let it's not pretty Jimmy says Kiffer can't sing as well as this Ed guy. His name's Ted. Ted, you mean? <laughs> I've never heard Kiffer sing. Probably good then. Pleasure. Thank you. 
Mr. Spicy, Blizzard Grade always makes me hungry for seafood. <laughs> yeah, lots of seafood, isn't there? Crabs. There's turtles later. I don't know if you need turtle. Fish. There's no lobsters. There's squid. Well, yeah, there's squid and then there's um. Kinda like octopus guys. They're not really octopus, but they look like it. Wow, such good training. Okay. So Sazdam. Vitality and dexterity. Keep on working on artifacts, growing. Let's boost your ranged. Flaws, we're gonna do senses and dexterity. He's up to 75. Those mythology artifacts. And then Duncan. Dexterity and strength. Those throwing artifacts. Mr. Spock says, I never had, have had turtle, not opposed to it though. And Dark Spawn says, I, I like swordfish. The danger is part of the fun. <laughs> and Mr. Spock says, as long as the sword is removed, oh well. Okay, let's see. Shimmy. Sturdy and strength. Forte, let's do speed and dexterity. And hum. Dexterity and intelligence. I will be the smart one. Bow. Growing. Artifacts. Okay. Find things. There. Hey, we got an axe. We gave someone a tiny bit of axe. Here we go. Okay. It should have been said a long time ago. We killed them. They had oh. no fear, well. for the enemy was weak. Two shots, two kills. Been hit with the axe and the staff. Ah, now what do you suppose this is for? Laws is fourteen scouting now. Trapped. Yes, 
Booby trapped. Buckler shield, steel helm, hatchet. Nice. Wow, we got some useful things for this party. Actually, she doesn't have axe. I'm just focusing on sword. Let's give this to Jimmy. communication so low everything's going to be so expensive there's the 200 gold from the short bows the light we're going to hang on to Nineteen hundred gold, not bad. And we can get melee weapons. Rapier is nice. Short sword is actually even better, though. It only weighs two and a half. Doesn't have the hit bonus, but it weighs so much less than that rapier. Does slightly more damage. Okay, so you're taking this. What type do we have for you? You have no skills, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, we'll get you the rapier. Gee. It's out of your inventory. Okay, uh, Duncan has least. an axe. So D Forte needs something. Yes. Broadsword does good damage. It's a little heavy. It's not nearly as heavy as the foil, though. Oh, I can't use a broadsword. That's weird. So a samurai can, a bard can, a thief can, but not a ranger. That's a weird one. So it says bride value 75. May drop an enchanted bow. You mean birds can drop an enchanted bow? Okay, let's get a few arrows. Ooh, he is selling corals.
The sticks I'm going to wait to sell once we can identify them. Buckler shield, feathered hat, feather boots, actually quilt tunics a better buy. ID that one. Okay, let's go rest. Come back and it says yes and drop equals which you can steal from someone. Let's go get these items. Kind of far from level four. But if we fight a few spiders, we'll be there. Oh, cleaver. Can use that. Smelling salts. Just one? <laughs> really? Well, it says weight and initiative bonus of that bow makes it the first thing that allows a second swing unless you import the elven bow. Yeah, the elven bow is a crazy import. Wizardry 7. 6 slash 7. Yeah, I want one more level before I take on Gregor. He's level 5, I think. So I'd like to be level 4. glad that Burr sells arrows and corals because he doesn't sell throwing items which is kind of a shame like ninjas in my mods I gave them feather birds I think stubborn spawn, isn't it? We could actually play games with Gregor. We can shoot and run. Yes. You want to get poison, cure poison in everybody's inventory. This is a scroll of haste. Right. As long as we don't get sandwiched.
With pleasure. Oh, I don't like the looks of this fight. Mighty. Have it busy. A chance to hit him is really low. Let's bring him out by uh, Burrs. I don't think he'll follow us that far. I guess it's possible. I think I have got him to go out there that far before. Keep him within vision. Let's bring back. All right. With pleasure. Yep, he's going to follow us all the way to Burrs. Ah, oh, oh. come on, come on back. Still retreating. Doggone it. Feeling a little tired. Very well. Uh, got a few shots in anyway, but it wasn't it wasn't much. Okay, let's see if he'll come back to it. Because cruise metal sticks the spike much cheaper than the stars. Hmm. You're talking about in uh Reforge or your mod. Bring him to Burrs, the chance of a drop is Oh <laughs> you mean if he kills Burrs? Yeah. That would be great. Oh very well. Yeah, he's still injured. See if we can get this out of here. I can get birds to come out here. Very well. Get him to move. Okay. That's good news. She was most loved of all. gonna run? He's charging, okay. Perfect. Alright, birds. 
It's your time to shine. I only have one guy that's conscious. <laughs> Much better. Andy's poison. Okay, let's see. With pleasure. Andy's unconscious. <laughs> let's bring this one back. With pleasure. Very well. Birds need to store Gregor. Who am I hung up on here? This chair. <laughs> so he recovered. And this range is still unconscious, Duncan. I am glad to be alive again. Though the steel sickness was not totally disturbing. Says Dan's unconscious. Now. Duncan died to the poison. His death comes as a surprise. Uh, he showed so many traits of a strong alpha mage. Very well. We play. Their birds knocked him out. They only move back a little bit with this. Paralyzed too. I don't have any cure paralysis but I need to change our position here. Weak pleasure. He's not gonna attack birds. Stamina. With pleasure. Very well. Hey, Moody, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? It says I was curious about what Jacks of all trades meant, but I think I got it. Yeah, all Rangers. Very well. Do you have a stamina? I can't tell. Uh, much better. You're a bit tired? Gotcha. Plus, due to the lack of throwing items, I changed all the throwing items to higher quantities, but then that one to give birds the real shuriken. Ah, I get you. Sweet pleasure. So we'll have to get the resurrection powder out of the safe. I feel so for a uh, um. Got some new stuff. Okay, let's see what you got. Mm -hmm. Well, lane. It's a slight upgrade. Oh, he's even selling resurrection Come cover. back in. Farewell. Okay. Let's go get the safe open. Try to minimize our fights until then. So that Han doesn't miss out on too much experience.
That's a point three drop for Moody. Yeah, he's tired. Fashion powder? We're not going to be throwing that for a long time. Let's hope we get three. But only one is necessary. Watch, we'll open it and there won't be any in there. <laughs> that would be funny. We got one. <laughs> now this is okay. One. Well, that average is out. What do you mean you can't use it? Yes. What? Is it because you can't identify it? Are you kidding me? Nobody can identify it. I don't think he sells identify scrolls. What a scam. You know exactly what it is. Got some news. No identify scroll. Identify scam, exactly. Hey there, millennial, welcome to stream. How are you doing? Ugh. Oh, and Moody's on three stream watch streak. Nice. All right, I may have to sell these books. So I have enough to buy resurrection powder. Because we're getting scammed. You saved me. Well, I guess you're right after all. Flash powder? Does he sell flash powder? I'll have to go look. You doing great, Glendier? Millennial? Yeah, I bought one cure paralysis powder. It's a little bit expensive. Millennial says, guess what? Today I finished Descent to the Undermountain on stream. What a ride. Wow, nice. Congratulations. Man, you went, you blew through that one pretty quick, didn't you? Do you archive your streams anywhere, like to YouTube or anything, Millennial? Like, I, I archive all of mine on Twitch. I, what did he call it? I clip the entire thing, and then I upload to YouTube. And then all my game reviews and all those, um, not my streams, but game reviews, interviews, and other things I do. I put those on Rumble. Too. But since I have to manually do the Rumble one, I'm not doing all my streams. Yeah, Millennial Obscure Gameplays on YouTube. Okay, cool. I'll have to go find that. Oh, you stream on both simultaneously. Okay. I see. Yeah, I know BioGoo does that. He hasn't streamed in ages, but when he does, he did. With pleasure.
Uh, run just started. This is a brand new party, Millennial. It's going great. We did have a little rough time with Gregor because I fought him at level 3 and tried to draw him back to Burrs, but we killed him with Burrs' help. This guy's Burrs. But besides that, they're super strong. So I'm looking for Flash Powder because... Sneeze Powder. Claus made a reference to that. I don't see Flash Powder. Come back in. Yes. I have to be close. Yeah, one more fight and everyone will be leveled up except the uh, Tom. He was the one that died with Gregor. So, how do you rate? The game, uh, Millennial Descent to the Under Mountain. How did, how did it compare to you for uh, Wizards and Warriors? Who do you ask? Do Rangers get spellcasting abilities in Wizardry Eight? Yes, they get alchemy just like in Wizardry Six and Seven. They lost the. Uh, Pickpocket and Spellbug is still though. Ooh, Dusk Bats. Oh, this should be some good experience. Except for I think you assumed to be res powder was in fact flash powder. No, I got it out of the safe. I got it out of the safe. It has to be resurrection powder. Boss. Unless it dumped somewhere else. Let me look. Let me organize. Yeah, it's the only powder I have. So that's resurrection. <laughs> Yeah, you don't get it until, like, level 5. You don't get spells, because they're hybrids. Just like in Wizardry 6 and 7, you get the spells later. Now, Lemio says, well, it was an interesting experience. Very different games indeed. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's good. Says Tam, we're doing vitality and dexterity for you. Let's keep working on throwing, bows, and artifacts. Claws, we're doing senses and dexterity. Let's work on artifacts, ranged, and bow. Duncan, we're doing dexterity and strength. Oh, throwing vertex. Jimmy, strength and dexterity. Oh, artifacts ranged. And De Forte will do dexterity and speed. Growing artifacts. Let's work on your range a little bit here. Okay. Okay, you gotta go. Well, thanks for dropping in, Millennial. Have a great evening. 
Let's see here. Ah, we can identify that now. Concussion powder. Wait a minute. Where did the resurrection powder go? I put it here. I put it in this inventory. It was concussion powder. I thought that was weird. <laughs> That's hilarious. I thought that was really weird that um, it wasn't identified. I'd never remembered that happening. Now I know why. That was the concussion powder. Okay, let's put this here. Let's see. Heavy. Ooh, heavy yields. Here. Thank you. How's everybody's arrows? Let's get this replenished. Forgot throwing that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hum. Yeah, Hum's like a thousand off. Powder scam. <laughs> it is funny that they give you concussion powder that early. Like taunting you to throw it and have a good chance of backfiring. No problem. With pleasure. New party, kill your character. see what kind of lovely treasure yes. we get here. We're only level four. Something the treasure's going to be garbage. Right here. Heater shield. Wow. Halberd. Can't use the halberd. Can't use the heater shield. Nice. Bullet stones and arrows. A skull cap, really? Light heels, I guess those are useful. Yeah, this is gonna be dangerous. Let's see how well we do against them. Oh, the energy blast was good. The worst is when he blinds you and makes you insane. Wow. Restored. Okay, now we got some spiders to kill.
Goody says, why kill the spiders? They were just surfing the web. <laughs> He's got the funds. Oh. Hey there, White Magic Raven TV. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Yeah, that's better. I went to your profile the other day. I saw that you're in Ukraine. You stream from there. a lot of uh, Quake videos. Is that your favorite game? says, yes, I'm okay, sort of. Yes, Quake is my favorite. I even play Quake 4 and Quake Champions, but without the stream. Oh, okay. I've never played any of the Quakes. I think I was in college when they came out. Or maybe I had my first job. I don't remember. So I missed out on that. There was a lot of games like that around that era that I missed out on because either in college or uh, working. I feel somewhat disturbed. I missed out on Wizards 8 because that came out in 2001. So I just found this game, I don't know, six years ago? Something like that? Okay, Hom, we're working on your intelligence and dexterity. Let's see here, throwing... Artifacts. Ranged. I have recovered. Hmm. This device must do something. Okay, we are ready for the upper monastery. Kind of. I mean, we're gonna have to fight <coughs> rabid rats. The hero's footsteps reverberated in the empty hall. Which I'm not you super excited about. Look, let us be predator and not prey. Shabell shoot him down. Have to heal though. Very well. Paul says I played Quake and Quake 2 when it came out. The soundtrack was epic back in the days, it says. They got an insane character, that's why she's thinking it. Uh, White Magic says I am a huge. Raven Software fan, also love Cumin and Head Studios. I like that Katana and love Night Dive Studios. They're doing a great job on remastering movies. Plus, as I still listen to Nine Inch Nails every once in a while. Too insane. Let's rest that off. Feeling more like myself. That's a bit better. I feel somewhat restored. There yeah, now, that's better. They have no right. fear for the enemy was weak. <laughs> Um, 
We're almost ready for level five. Our magic says Heretic 2 source code is, I believe, still exists at Hyperion Software, the Amiga developers. They even updated it in 2024. Probably there is a chance Night Dive can get this source and make a remaster also. Wow. So no one owns the intellectual property rights to it then? Find things! Find things. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break here. I will be back in about five minutes. Hey everyone, I am back. Let's get back to the game. All right. Oh, Activision owns the intellectual property rights. Okay. <laughs> evil, <laughs> evil act. Activision. Activision used to be an amazing company a long time ago. It's that changed. Locked. It has a lock. Mr. Boxes, I don't know if I ever played the second one. Thank you, Tom, for the welcome back.
Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Holy moly, holy moly. Okay, they're level threes. Seven of them. We can beat them easily. They'll sneak up on you while you're trying to pick locks like that. <laughs> That's why I always try to face toward an open area. They will get you from behind. Very well. I thought that was a bunch of rabid rats. <laughs> Mr. Spock says the squeaky lockpick will weaken the beast. Yeah. Sweet pleasure. It's real time, so they'll come up and attack you right in the middle of picking. training. Okay. Vitality and Dexterity. Here's our first level spell. Heal. He is up front though. Actually, we're going to get sleep. The reason why I'm getting sleep is because if you have someone that's up front in the formation cast healing on someone behind like here, this little arrow will face that party member so they'll turn backwards and then if there's enemies here, they'll hit you from behind. So I generally put people in the front for that are on an outer side to do forward base spells. Okay, let's see. Claws, we're still doing dexterity and senses. Hmm. I think I'm going to get him sleep as well. More mythology. Let's do mythology. Jimmy says, I like fantasy games that allow rangers to cast magic. Yeah, exactly. Ranger danger. <laughs> okay. Duncan, we're doing strength and dexterity. I'm going to get him healed. Everybody else is going to get healed. Throwing. Dexterity and strength on Jimmy. Heal. Artifacts. Dexterity and speed on D Forte with heal. Alchemy. Divine. Growing. Okay. Let's go rest again real quick. Okay, let's again. It has a lock.
Those are caps, not quite cutting it. Another boot upgrade. Let's go kill the rest of these rats. Find things. This battle will pleasure. be short and simple. These have some hit points. Healing training here. A votre service. I don't really want to rest here. There. Find things, find things. <laughs> it's a double there. find things. There. I like the bats in there said so there. They went there. There. Did you missed something. Find things. Smelling salts, finally. Okay, this is not a good place to rest. Let's go back up here. It's a good place. Kill the thieves. With pleasure. With pleasure. pleasure. This battle will oh. be child's play. Ah. 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 <laughs> Sneak attack. Ah! 
The game's lying to us. These are not death cards he's throwing. It's more like just... They're not even as good as regular death cards. Because he can't get critical hits with them. Even a regular Cherokin does critical hits. So his is like a... What would be the word? Like a... Imposter fake Death Star. Scam Star. He's throwing Scam Stars. Now isn't that nice? This has got to be the most training I've ever seen out of a party yet in the beginning of the game. They're like leveling up skills constantly. Okay, we're doing dexterity and intelligence. Um, let's get another heal. And throw. Suede pants. Here. Yes. Quarter staff. This looks so much like a golf club. Found a golf club. <laughs> it's a flail, of course. Here's flash powder. Definitely want to have this distributed. Thank you. If we ever get surrounded. Okay, cool. Okay, there's a leather helm in one of these. This one? The other one's not op worth opening. I think it's maybe suede. Find things! Ammo. Let's just let these guys get close. Very well. <coughs> this battle will be short and simple. Got one hit. Very well. Eight damage. I like actually shooting at guys that are toward the back that aren't blocked because a lot of times you'll miss and you'll hit somebody by doing that. Like you might hit this guy. I didn't. <laughs> that guy's running. <laughs> well, Tunic, that's an upgrade for Tunic. Oh, 
off, but... <laughs> Says, when will these goofs wise up and flee at the sight of our awesome might? Your guess is as good as mine, Jimmy. They're not the brightest crane in the box. They're seeing their friends just get obliterated before their eyes and they still keep fighting. Scatter still armed. Still armed. <laughs> Jimmy says they should take a page out of my gold box playbook and surrender. Yeah, exactly. A strategic surrender. Yeah, what's weird... Ooh, this is actually a good treasure chest. You hardly ever hear me say that, but this is good. Um, the weird thing in the gold box games, when you surrender, you lose all your hit points. And you're unconscious. What's that about? Like, they don't, they don't just, like, put you over in a corner and tie you up. They knock you out and almost kill you. And that's how you surrender. It's like, it's not the best way to surrender. <laughs> surrender scam, exactly. Slimes, seekers, seekers, I see a nope, spiders. I'm actually kind of glad about that. They give good experience. What? One spider? One spider. I have never seen this. No problem. We can beat them easily. This is like so backwards compared to the all punching fighter party. Where they threw like the most ridiculous monsters at us. This party's so much stronger, and they give us one spider. <laughs> one spider, Jimmy surrenders. <laughs> Jimmy says, Yeah, they don't even try to pump me for information, and believe me, I'll sing like a canary. <laughs> Just put the flyers away, please. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Ooh, good. More small insults. Get rid of the unconsciousness. Spiders are dangerous, Duncan, Jimmy says. <laughs> okay, so this was garbage. That's okay. The last chest was good. In Wizardry, getting one good treasure chest out of ten is considered a win. Because usually you'll have about 30 garbage chests. Alright, let's sneak. Let's see how many are in here. How many we got? Doesn't look like too many. Okay. Good. Let us see and I think I am gonna throw a stink bomb here. All right. You will never get the kill. 
Time backfired it. Oh boy. Here we go. Very well. Let's go out in the hall and recover. I think it's throwing 17. Yeah. He should have done that successfully. It is possible to at least fumble, you know, like fizzle, but don't backfire it. His condition with pleasure, and so he recovered. I have recovered. That's an improvement. Uh, much better. That's too far. I probably won't be able to hit that. This one will kill Go in the door. Probably gonna run out of gear. All right. Get lucky, he'll stop here. I feel very well restored. Yeah, that's what I figured. They like to run over here, and then they can shoot at us. Some healing in before we finish. Yes. I feel somewhat restored. Here now, that's better. Get some sleep training here too. Very well. If we backfire it, we can just run. With pleasure. This battle will be short and simple. One fell asleep. Another fell asleep. Perfect. Here with these shots, considering we haven't even made it out of the monastery yet. Cherry bomb over here. There. I have 
been waiting for you for some time. Althaeides. He goes all the way back to Wizardry 6. You don't know it though until Wizardry 7. Magic Nectar actually useful now. They all fight around, we weren't using it. <laughs> okay. There's a few more things to do here. Find things! And then we're heading to Arnica Road. some bats. Got a pretty good amount of potions. No problem. We can easy. beat them easily. Poison dart trap again. Not feeling well. Bull whip, skull cap, leather helm. Some useful things there. We got a leather helm. The bull whip we can potentially use. I have to think about that. It's mason flail. It's super light, two and a half. Extended range, plus one hit. Does four damage on average. But and we use a shield with it. But it's a lashing attack. Lashing has a, a less chance of penetrating, a greater chance of hitting. It's good for characters that have low strength because you don't get a strength bonus either. 
if you're hitting an enemy that's unconscious, you do get a strength bonus, but it's, I think, a half. But if you hit an unconscious enemy, you don't do double damage with lash attacks. That's the other disadvantage. So, I don't know. It can train Mason Flail. Oh, my melee is so terrible. Okay with that. Let's give it to this one. Okay, that'll work. Bolt whip is for backfires. <laughs> Much better. Moody says very rare for D Forte to say that items in a chest are useful. Yeah. You are absolutely right, Moody. Okay. Hunter Cape, now we're talking. So plus two evasion armor class and five senses. Nice. Two more items to grab. Can't use the Tocito, but it's worth a lot of money. Pass. Ready for Arnica Road. Yes. Let me check my ammo before I head out there. Maybe smart to. Yeah, we. We may want need to go back to see Burrs. Yeah, we're going back to see Burrs before we leave her. And that's where we'll uh, probably stop tonight. Sell this junk we pick up. Get a lot of arrows and corals. Then we'll be set for Arnica Road. Staff for now. Okay. Get rid of the concussion powder. Fifty four hundred gold. Let's see here. I 
pick up another pair of other boots. Get two more cure paralysis powders. Yes, farewell. I don't think I'm going to throw these darts either. It's a good way to train throwing, but it's too dangerous at this point. Okay, perfect. Come back and see me. Farewell. All right, guys. That went well. Great progress. Party is super strong at this point in the game. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.